a um, table of contents to organize your information on a page. So for example, if I had this Emily Dickinson resource page and I had a couple of videos and a couple of websites and I, and I thought, you know, kids might not scroll all the way to the bottom or I wanted to make it a little bit clearer, I could add a table of contents up here at the top. So um, I'm going to click edit and then have my cursor where I want it. I'm going to make a little space for it and I'm going to click insert table of contents. That's as easy as it is there. You can experiment with the length of it later and when you click save you'll see that it says contents no headings. For a table of contents it's only going to insert text into the contents that is using a um, kind of an official heading. So if you go back in and edit and change the text that you want in the table of contents and you format it as a heading. Any, any one of these headings, um, I usually use the smaller one, um, but it's up to you. You might edit the spacing so it's a little more visible. Format, heading, and then I would make all of these format headings as well. It's still going to be linked. You're not going to lose that. It may change the spacing a little bit. Um, you can adjust that and then click Save and you see it has adjusted so that the contents um, are listed there for you. Okay, It's not the prettiest thing in the world and you can't do a whole lot of editing with it that I've found, um, but it's it's something at least and it does really help. You can choose which levels of formatting if you wanted just a level one or two um, if you have different types of headings when you do that formatting thing you can do that as well. Okay so I'm gonna leave it empty so it can be a little bit bigger table of contents.